Let us do another example about calculating electric forces. We now have three charges centered, three charges at the corners of a right angle triangle, and uh, this angle is 90 degrees, and this distance is 0.2 meters, and so is this distance, is also 0.2 meters. And uh, these angles will be 45 and 45 degrees. And because this is a right angle triangle, we can calculate this distance uh, using Pythagorean theorem as 0.28 meters. And uh, this charge, QA, is minus 4 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. And the charge QB is 5 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. And uh, QC is the same. Is 5 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. Before uh, calculating the uh, electric forces acting on each of the charges, uh, let us recall uh, the formula for electric force. Electric force Fe is given by K times Q1 times Q2 over R squared. Here Q1 and Q2 are two charges, two point charges. They are separated by a distance of R in meters. K is the Coulomb's constant and it's equal to 9 times 10 to the 9 Newton's meter squared per Coulomb squared. So we now calculate the force, electric force acting on each charge. I have also written this formula here. <clears throat> Let us start by considering FAB. FAB is the force exerted on A by charge B and from the uh, for electric force, we know that this is equal to FPA uh, in magnitude. It's equal to FPA, which is the force exerted on B by A. So these two are equal in magnitude by op but opposite in direction. Also, similarly, FAC will be equal in magnitude to FCA, but they will be opposite in direction. So let us First, calculate the magnitude of FAB. And this will be given by K, which is 9 times 10 to the 9 Newtons meter squared per Coulomb squared, <clears throat> times QA, which is minus 4 times 10 to the negative 6 Coulombs, times QB, which is 5 times 10 to the negative 6. Divided by uh, the distance, <clears throat> which is 0.2 meters squared. And the result of this calculation is minus 4.5 newtons. And because this sign is negative and these two charges are opposite in sign, uh, this, is an, this is an attractive force. So let us show the FAB on here. FAB will be F on A by B will be as shown will be 4.5 and FPA will also be equal in magnitude but opposite in direction four point five so let us now calculate uh, FAC well, FAC, because uh, the charges 
QB and QC are exactly the same, 5 times 10 to the negative 6. FAC will be equal in magnitude uh, to FAB. And of course, the directions will be different. So let us show this on this diagram. FAC will be 4.5 newtons. And similarly, so this is F on A exerted by C. And FCA will also be 4.5. <clears throat> Let us now consider FBC. FBC will be given by again K, which is 9 times 10, 9 times 10 to the 9 newtons meters squared per coulomb squared times uh, QB, which is 5 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs times QC, which is 5, 5 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. And this distance is 0.28 meters. Therefore, this charge, or uh, the, uh, this calculation will give us 2.8 Newtons. <clears throat> and this force will be repulsive because these charges are both exactly the same and both positive. And we can show that here that this will be 2.8 in this direction and this will be 2.8 in this direction. So let us now calculate uh, the net force acting on each of the charges. We will do this by adding the force vectors acting on each point charge. Let's start by considering <clears throat> charge QA. So, in order to add these two charges, we make this parallelogram by drawing a side parallel to this one and a parallel one to this parallel side to this one. We can add these using either the tail to tip method of vector addition or the parallelogram method. And so this is the trying this is the force FA that we are looking for. So this angle is 90 degrees. These are 45 and 45 degrees. And because this is a right angle triangle, we can simply use <clears throat> the Pythagorean theorem to calculate the magnitude of this force. Therefore, the force vector A, well, we say that this direction is north and this direction is east, so this is west and this is south. <clears throat> is north, east, west and south. So therefore 
because these angles are 45 degrees, FA is given by 6.4 newtons east 45 degrees north. <clears throat> and we can now uh, carry out the, the calculation for uh, vector addition of F, uh, the forces acting on QB. So it's 4.5 and 2.8 and we use the parallelogram method of vector addition so we draw a side parallel to this one and we draw a side parallel to the 4.5 and the net force <coughs> will be this side right here So we are looking for this force and because this angle is 45 degrees and this, this side is parallel to this side, this side is parallel to this side, therefore this angle is also 45 degrees. And this length is 4.5. So this angle is 45. Now using cosine law on this triangle, with this side, this side, 2.8 and the 4.5, we can calculate the length of uh, the magnitude of the net force on B, FB, from cosine law. The cosine law says that FB squared is equal is equal to 4.5 squared plus 2.8 squared minus 2 times 4.5 times 2.8 <clears throat> cosine 45 degrees and this gives us <clears throat> 10.27 and if we take the square root of this, it is 3.2 newtons. So we also need to find the direction. So we're looking for this angle, alpha. So we can use again the sine law on this triangle again. Uh, so the sine law says that sine of 45 degrees over 3.2 so sine of this angle 45 over this length which is 3.2 is equal to <clears throat> sine of this angle alpha divided by the side facing this angle which is 2.8 so sine of alpha over 2.8 and if you solve for the angle alpha here this will give us alpha equals to 38.2 degrees approximately <clears throat> therefore the vector the vector FB is given by 3.2 newtons south it's pointing toward the south and 38 degrees west So this is FB. And now we can let us consider FC. Similarly, using the parallelogram method, we drew we draw this parallelogram and we want to calculate this magnitude and direction and the calculation will be very similar to uh, the FB therefore I won't go through the details and the result will be very similar in fact the magnitudes will be the same but for FC and FB but the direction will be different and using the same method similar method as we have done for charge QB and after this calculation